2020 Volkswagen Tiguan, a very minor damage in the front. Motor's good. We got our fluids. AC works, even though the condenser is busted and we're gonna replace it. It didn't puncture it, but uh, pretty much looks like it just ripped off all the shields. Looks like it might've hit something. Oh, and the radiator support. So the radiator support and condenser. So I already got all the parts ordered. It should be coming in anytime. Fender's not even damaged. So I'm literally just gonna have to replace the bumper, paint it, install it and we'll be ready to go but you guys know me i can't be rolling on a stock tig one especially for my daily driver so we're going to do some customization to it welcome back to the lnc painter youtube channel and to part two of our volkswagen tig one our line conversion if you didn't see part one i'll post the link in the description in part one we fixed everything that needed to be fixed mechanically and got everything fitted and now we're ready for paint so we got everything we pretty much need for the front end there wasn't much damage, but it just needed the new radiator support, AC condenser, new front bumper, headlight. We upgraded to the LED head headlights. And it's gonna completely transform the front end, plus the R-line front bumper and grill. It's gonna make it stand out even more. And then we got the wider front end flares. The flares, I'm actually gonna primer and we're gonna paint to match so the car is gonna look even more aggressive all right my tig one bumper is in the spray booth it's prepped we're gonna paint it real quick i don't have the moldings prepped yet so we're just gonna spray the front end parts that are gonna be gloss white or body color i should say so this goes on the bottom grill i'm gonna do a white accent and then this goes on the upper grill i'm gonna do a white accent as well and then these go on the headlights. So there's gonna be a strip of white running. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. And then, of course, the rest of the bumper is gonna be white and all the other grills are gonna remain black. So we're gonna do our uh, white sealer, base coat, and clear coat. Show you guys what it looks like once it's all finished. Let's go. prepping all the moldings for uh, primer and then paint as you can see I'm sanding all the parts with uh, 150 grit pretty much have to get rid of all this texture make it smooth like this that way we can primer it prep the primer and we're gonna have a nice smooth surface I gotta work to get these smooth it's gonna pay off in the end once they're painted because it's gonna change the look of the car completely so let's quickly primer these three two one all right everything's primered up and looking good well not perfect but that's the fibers i was telling you guys about it's very hard when you send plastic to get it super smooth unless you spend a lot of time getting rid of all those fibers with uh, wet sandpaper but all these little bumps will go away once you start prepping with 320 and then we can seal and paint. All right, we got all the Tiguan parts in the spray booth. We got them prepped, smoothed out all the texture. As you can see, primer definitely helps. Now we can paint them body cover in white. So what we did was, as you saw, we sanded the texture with 150 grit. Then we refined the 150 with 320 before primer. We primered it and then we prepped it with 320, 600. And now they're cleaned in the booth, ready for sealer. Two coats of base, two coats of clear. We're gonna skip all the nonsense and get this painted in three, two, one. Wow, 
everything looks super good, super glossy and super smooth. Just how it's meant to be. Very happy with how everything looks. We finally got everything painted. All the pieces are sprayed and ready for installation. Also smoked out the rear reflectors and the front and rear Volkswagen badge. Here's our bumper and here's all the grills that have to be installed. Let's quickly throw everything on. All right, check it out. Sheesh, that's an aggressive looking bumper. So I painted this strip white just cause there's just too much black in the center. So I think this white strip offsets it a little bit and makes it look a lot better. Wow, check out that front end. So aggressive. I think it looks good with this uh, molding painted white. Then it kind of flows with the fender. And then you got that lower strip on the bottom. My favorite part is the LED headlights. They look absolutely wicked. Christmas came early this year. We finally got our wheels and tires for our Tiguan. I ordered a set from Tire Rack. You order both wheels and tires. They already come balanced and mounted. So that's a plus. Volkswagen Tiguan is finally done and
we've done. Super happy with how it turned out, how everything looks, exactly how I planned it, how I envisioned it, and it came to reality. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of me buying and rebuilding my Volkswagen Take One for my new daily drive. If you enjoy this kind of content, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, comment below. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. We post a new video each week, so don't miss out. That is going to be it for today. We'll see you guys on the next one.